Today is Managu Day. In today's video, I want to show you how to make your managu really tasty, the easiest way without overcooking your managu. And that's one of the delicious Kienyeji dishes in Kenya. And by Kienyeji, I mean it is indigenous to this country and we enjoy it a great deal. Please join me. Welcome to Recipes and Hospitality with Clara. This is a channel where we share recipes that are simple, easy to do at home, to enhance your hospitality for the glory of God. And if this is the kind of content you like, kindly consider subscribing. Yes, we are making that delightful dish. Uh, if you would prefer the English name, it is called the African Night Shade. We love it in our country, at least some parts of our country, and I am sure you're going to enjoy it a great deal. I'll show you how to do it and try it and enjoy it with your galley or whatever meal you would like. So as it's always our custom, we will pray and just trust the Lord to give us a fruitful time. Indeed, Father, be with us. Grant that this process will be a blessing, not just for me, but for my viewer, and glorify your name as you help us to enhance our hospitality for your glory in the kitchen. In Jesus' name, amen. Begin by working on your vegetables to separate the leaves from the harder stems like I'm doing. You can cut the bud of the vegetable and the little leaves around it together since the bud is soft and will cook. Next, thoroughly wash the vegetables in two to three washes. Mine were not really dirty, so I did two washes. Usually, where I come from, we rarely cut up our Kienyeji vegetables. We cook them like that. Managu is no different. I am, however, cutting them up because as a first-timer, you may struggle to eat them whole. My family too may struggle since Managu is not original to them. Transfer the managu to a suitable pan. I am using a shiny pan because after the boiling of the vegetables in it, it will be easier to clean. Remember, we are not overcooking the managu. So add just a little water. I am adding a quarter a cup to the managu. Cover. Begin to boil the managu. Once it begins bubbling, lower the heat slightly and time just three minutes covered. After three minutes, stir, turn them with your wooden spoon and then cover again and allow to boil. And just boil for one more minute. Switch the flame off after this. Meanwhile, begin to fry your onion with salad oil to a lightish golden color. Add the fresh garlic and fry to a golden brown as shown. Add the tomato, 
star cover and slightly lower the heat to allow the tomato to become tender hence forming a puree easily when you stir. After about a minute to two minutes stir in your tomato paste. Next add in the salt and the spices of choice. You must have seen mine in the list of ingredients. You could use those as well. Stir them in, cover, and allow a minute for the spices to mix well into the puree and to cook. Now, stir in the managu. Strain out of the water as I'm doing, since too much water will make your vegetables too watery, especially knowing we, we will still add in our cream. Add just a few drops of the water into the vegetables as you cook to keep them from, from drying out. Stir until evenly mixed into the puree and bubbly. Cover and allow about two minutes for all the ingredients to blend together well. After the two minutes, finally add in the cream, ensuring to stir until evenly spread out and somewhat melted into the managu. Usually I will gather my cream when I've boiled my milk and it has cooled. I will often freeze it and keep adding more cream uh, so that I'm ready to use it either for baking or for something like what I'm doing today, putting it in my managu because cream will help to alleviate the bitterness that you know is often in managu. Though someone told me what makes managu tasty and delicious and unique is actually bitter test <laughs> to it but the cream will help to reduce that once it gets bubbly i like to cover and allow just a minute for the cream to blend into the vegetable your managu is ready to eat Enjoy it with your ugali or preferred main dish. In Kenya, we enjoy it with ugali the most. I even prefer it the most the next day. I enjoy managu a great deal. And as you saw, we are not overcooking it. So it, you're going to have it with all the nutritious benefits of managu. As you know, Kenyaji foods are really healthy and they are very good for us and particularly for our ugali dish and I am making ugali in the next video so please join me and check out in this playlist right here where I have done some other vegetables and other meals that I consider Kienyeji or indigenous to this country and how we make them and I hope that you will enjoy that playlist as well as you wait for that ugali recipe and all the other recipes that I have in store. Thank you so much for joining me and until that next video. Bye.